Hello there guys, Dave Nier right here, and today I'm bringing you guys another movie review. Now, it's finally that time of year, it's December now, and I thought I'd start off December by reviewing... Well, maybe not start off exactly, this might be a couple days into December when I'm posting this review, but I figure I'd kick off December by reviewing National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. If you've seen the movie, you know this cup is from the movie. I got this in my nerd block, I was psyched when I got this, that's... It's pretty awesome. That's the best cup ever, pretty much. Anyways, well, shot glass, but I don't, I don't drink shots out of it. I just drink eggnog. Not, not spiked eggnog either. <laughs> I'm not an alcoholic. But anyways, so I'm reviewing National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Now this is the third film, and I believe there are four Christmas, va or not Christmas. There, there are four vacation movies. There's like, there's Vacation, European Vacation, Christmas Vacation, and then Vegas Vacation. Now I've only seen Vacation and uh, Christmas Vacation, but. Both of them are great, and most people will probably tell you that the first one is the best. Honestly, I gotta go with the best one. This Christmas Vacation is one of my favorite comedies of all time. It's e either top 10, top 15, and as far as Christmas movies, it's definitely also in the top 10. This is a great comedy, and a large portion of the reason why this movie works. Now, granted, everyone in the cast is great. Everyone's very funny, the banter is great, but the physical comedy is great, too. You know, sometimes they go for a sort of Three Stooges-ish comedy, you know, people getting hurt, people getting hit over the head. You know, mainly that happens to Chevy Chase or Clark Griswold, but it, like, goes more dynamic than that. It's a lot funnier than just, like, copying off of Three Stooges. It's very funny, but there's also great banter throughout, and this movie is very quotable. It's... Like, I, I can think of several quotes. I'm not going to go off quoting them because I can't do impressions anymore. But, um, still, very quotable movie, very memorable. But the main reason this movie works is Chevy Chase. Same thing with the first movie. He is just a comic genius. Chevy Chase has always been great. Even some of his movies that some people frown upon more and they're like, yeah, that wasn't his best. Like Three Amigos, for instance. I love Three Amigos. I mean, I've seen it a million times and I don't laugh nearly as much as it now as I did when I was, you know, like, seven or eight when I first saw Three Amigos, but still, I love Three Amigos. And uh, the same can be applied to any comedy, including this comedy, even my favorite comedy of all time. If I've seen it a bunch of times, I know the jokes are coming, I'm like, okay, I get it. But it's still funny, and this movie still, I, I just watched it last night uh, on Black Friday, which is, you know, I'm posting this video the Saturday after Black Friday. I mean, I'm recording this video the Saturday after Black Friday, if not posting it. Um... And yeah, it's, I laughed out loud several times, it, uh, and I chuckled, like, completely throughout. But yeah, the first time I watched this movie, I can tell I laughed harder than I have at most movies I've ever seen. It's very, very funny movie. Great dialogue, great banter, and the, all the acting is great. Very clever, well-paced, doesn't get boring. It doesn't get overly dramatic, because, you know, a lot of comedies, like, you know, there will be a portion to where all of a sudden it gets dramatic. This movie... Technically, it gets a little more dramatic and sentimental, but it's still funny all throughout that segment, and it doesn't get all melodramatic on you. It's really funny um, all throughout, and yeah, like I said, very quotable, very memorable. All the characters are great, well written. Um, I can't, I can't give this movie any other grade than A plus. It's one of my favorite comedies of all time. And yeah, I mean, technically there's not a whole lot to talk about. I mean, really, this movie, you know, it doesn't have, like, amazing cinematography or directing or anything, you know. It, I mean, not to say that the cinematography or directing is bad, you know, it, it accents the comedy very well. You know, it adds to the fast pace of the comedy because the jokes come at you pretty fast at times, especially in the banter and the dialogue, you know. Like, there are a bunch of jokes that, like, you don't pick up on the first, or even the first couple times you see the movie. And, like, even last night, like, I, I hadn't seen the movie in a while, so maybe, like, some of them I just forgot, but, like, there's several jokes where I was like, oh, I never noticed that before. And so, yeah, this is just a great comedy. It's a lot of rewatch value. It's funny every time I see it. Maybe not for everyone, but I think it's a great movie. And out of the two that I've watched, it's my favorite uh, National Lampoon vacation movie. It's great. I love it. One of my favorite Christmas movies. A+. Plus. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please rate and comment and subscribe. And if you want to, you can also share, of course. And yeah, I know this is a shorter video. Um, you know, I just wanted to you know, I didn't have a whole lot to say, so I'm just giving you guys like a four and a half minute view. It's in this kind of, I'm just giving you guys a four and a half minute video this time around. Got my words mixed around there. Goodbye.